Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! How to engage the prophetic for victory? Pay attention now. How to engage the prophetic for victory? How to engage the prophetic for victory? Please help me. I just saw light coming on two ladies right now as I just spoke. This, I just said this prophetic and I just saw light. And the Lord is saying by that light that this sermon is bringing redemption to many families where there has been. I, you know, I spoke about death. Death does not just have to be physical. It can be spiritual. It can be financial. I'm declaring right now by the Spirit, everything that represents death in your life, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command resurrection now. Please be seated. How to engage the prophetic for victory? Please listen. The days that we live in right now are days that require high level spiritual intelligence. You must know how to engage all these spiritual resources that have been given for the victory of the believer. You will be surprised how many people's lives have been grounded, scattered, limited because they have ignored the operation and even the ministry of the prophetic now there are two principal channels for accessing the prophetic let me put this down then I begin to teach you how to engage the prophetic pro proper there are two principal channels for accessing the prophetic that means if it is the prophetic you want there are only two places you can find it not three not four not five there are only two principal channels for accessing the prophetic are you ready now number one scripture the first platform for accessing the prophetic is the word of god scripture second peter 1 and verse 19 the bible calls the word of god a more sure word of prophecy a more sure word of prophecy that means in ranking the word of god is far superior to the next platform that i'll be teaching you can you imagine that the word of god is a more sure word of prophecy and the bible says we have also we have also that means don't look at other channels and forget the one you have you have also a more sure word of prophecy please hear me believers i'm demystifying the operation of the prophetic for you so that you will understand every time you are in need of the prophetic there are only two channels that communicate the prophetic number one is the word of god scripture every believer can manifest the prophetic because of our access to scripture john 1 and verse 3 the bible says all things were made by him him being the word so the word is creative it can make all things just like the prophetic and without him the word was not anything made that was made you know what that means i may not be a prophet I may not operate in the gift of the prophet, but I can engage the operation of the prophetic by engaging in scripture. I'll be teaching you shortly, but that you can take advantage of the scripture and create possibilities in your life. Hebrews 11 and verse 3, the Bible says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. The walls were framed by the word of God. The first channel for accessing the prophetic is the scripture. Number two, the second biblical channel for accessing the prophetic, are you ready now? Is a human vessel in partnership with the Holy Spirit. A human vessel, classically speaking, is a human vessel in partnership with a spirit. But since we are not diviners and demons here, we are, we are emphasizing the Holy Spirit. 
because the person who is prophesying inside a cave is also in partnership with a spirit except that that is not the spirit of God are we together a human vessel in partnership with the Holy Spirit so look up please when you are looking for the prophetic on earth there are only two places only two channels that are authorized dispensers of the prophetic number one the Word of God number two human vessels that are in partnership with the Holy Spirit John chapter 16 and verse 12 to 14 what is the big deal about the Holy Spirit with men hear what Jesus had to say about him I have yet many things to say unto you he says but ye cannot bear them now Jesus is speaking John 16 13 now he says how be it when he the Holy Spirit is not wind the Holy Spirit is not a ghost unfortunately they use the word ghost the ghost a ghost is the spirit of the dead the Holy Spirit has never and will never die. He's the spirit of life. So I know that there's an error in translation. You will see Holy Ghost. But I can assure you, he's, more than, he's not a ghost. Not even more than a ghost. He's not a ghost. The living spirit of God. Even when Jesus died, he was the one who came and resurrected him by the glory of the Father. Please keep that scripture there. The Holy Ghost. Powerful. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, the Bible says he will guide you into how many truth? How many truth? All truth. It said, for he shall not speak of himself. So the Holy Ghost speaks. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. Let's read the last line together. Ready? One to read. And he will show you things to come. So don't begin to question and say, how did you know? He will show you things to come. Any spirit really can show you things to come. But the Holy Spirit shows you things to come in a way that glorifies Jesus. You see, the glorification of Jesus is what distinguishes the ministry of the Holy Spirit against any other spirit. Because the spirit of prophecy always testifies of Jesus. Is someone learning? Let's finish up. 13 14 now that verse it says give us verse 14 he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and he shall show it unto you first corinthians chapter 2 from verse 10 to 12 two principal channels for accessing the prophetic one is scripture the other is a human vessel in partnership with the holy spirit the Bible says, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. Please say by his spirit. So God reveals to men by his spirit. For the spirit has an advantage of searching all things, even the deep things of God. Reading to 12, 11 now. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of that man that is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man. That means you cannot know the things of God. What God is doing cannot be made available to you except by the spirit of God. Verse 12, the Bible says, now we have received not the spirit of the world. Are you saying that the Holy Spirit is not the only spirit who is out there? There is the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. Please watch this. Every time you want to access the prophetic, whether one who is called into the prophetic office or any believer that just wants to manifest the prophetic, please hear me. If you ever believe that a prophet is the one who prophesies, you failed. If you ever believe a spiritual believer is the one who prophesies, you failed. You only prophesy to the degree to which you are in partnership with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit factor must be res respected. Are we together now? That means glorifying men because of their prowess in revealing or creating realities and ignoring the spirit that powers them is idolatry. Because they derive the ability to see, the ability to hear, and the ability to speak, and it happens because of their partnership. Please do not forget this. This is now a correction 
to some of the mistakes that happen. If I begin to prophesy right now, whether the revelatory dimension or the creative dimension, because you cannot see the Holy Spirit, I am the man you see. Chances are excellent that if you are not given this superior orientation, you will ignore him. How many people will leave the Holy Spirit in their room and run to look for a man that he is the one helping? While we honor men, you know that we are advocates of honor. While we respect the prophetic office and all operations of the prophetic, I must let you know that any man who operates either as a prophet or as a believer operating the prophetic, he's only doing that by the agency and the advantage and the mercy of the Spirit. Our attention must be on God even by his spirit more than the human vessel and if the human vessel has been well cultured mentored and trained by God he will very quickly shift the attention of the people from him to the giver of all good things are we together but for your knowledge tonight just know that every time you are in need of the prophetic there are two reference points number one the Holy Scripture a, a more sure word of prophecy number two a human vessel empowered by the Spirit of God and glory be to God when you have within your reach both you see please help them now this place is going to get very hot right now so pay attention because I believe that there will be impartations as I begin to teach. I just sense that. Now watch this. Do you know, please let me have your attention. Do you know why the word of God is called a more sure word of prophecy? Very simple reason. The word of God has been tried. But human vessels you see, operating the prophetic through a human vessel, eh? it depends on many factors for its accuracy. Number one. It depends on the level of consecration and yieldedness of the vessel. Are you seeing that now? Let me show you why the prophetic through human vessels comes with various shades of inaccuracies. Even though it is a biblical platform. But it depends, number one, on the level of consecration of the human vessel. It means an individual can carry a spirit of divination. For instance, Leviticus 19.31. Please give it to us. Let me show you something now. Le Leviticus 19.31. I, I believe that should be it. Media, can we work together? It says, Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them, for I am the Lord your God. That means a, a human vessel can have residing within him a spirit that is not of the Christ in fact the same Leviticus give us 20 and verse 6 I believe 20 verse 6 yes as the soul that turneth after such that have familiar spirit and after wizards and go a warring after them it says I will set my face against that soul and I will cut him off from among his people in Acts chapter 16, when you read from verse 16 to 18, the Bible talks about a young lady that was possessed with this, a spirit of divination. You know what it means to divine? To divine means to take advantage of the laws of the spirit outside of the supervision of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says she brought much gain. Are you seeing that when it is a spirit that is not of the Christ, the goal is not the revelation of Jesus. The goal is the belly. We need to be careful. Are we hearing tonight? Very important. It is not just the accuracy of the prophecy. These guys found out that this lady had the spirit of divination. And the Bible says she brought her master's gain by soothsaying, not prophesying. Soothsaying. The spirits will speak and while she says that because I taught you here koinonia that the prophetic is a highly is is a manifestation of the spirit that relates with your emotions and your psychology very strongly telling you details about your life it can sweep you off your feet immediately 
whether the revelatory dimension or the creative dimension you know before God helped me to be known across the body of Christ I remember when I would travel for meetings and people will be looking some of them did not know me and I'll just sit down and say, ah there's someone the power of God is coming on a few people and you could see people looking at me what kind of pride is this this guy and then suddenly people begin to shout up and down and you know that sense of respect and someone just keeps going, wow this is serious how did he know that this will happen how did he know that somebody will start running how did he know that this one will happen the spirit of divination can do that when the Holy Spirit comes he has a singular assignment of revealing Jesus not even revealing just the man this is where respectfully speaking I speak to the body of Christ there are many sincere people who love the Lord but we need to trust God to correct our approach to the prophetic there is prosperity with the prophetic but the prophetic is not for prosperity listen to me there is prosperity with the prophetic but the assignment of the prophetic is not prosperity the assignment of the prophetic in the new testament and for the believer today is to walk together with all other graces and manifestations to reveal jesus and that's it are we together so I said that prophecy through a human vessel is limited by many factors. Number one, the level of consecration and yieldedness. Number two, the kind of association that person is. You can be a genuine prophet or one who is inclined to the prophetic, but because of a wrong association, it can corrupt the purity and even the accuracy of your dispensing the prophetic. Just giving you many information. Number three, your level of transformation and enlightenment listen a prophet can be genuine loves God with all his heart but because his mind is not transformed there will be a, a high margin of error in his perception in mark in mark chapter 8 verse 22 let me show you something mark 8 22 the bible says jesus came to bethsaida and they brought to him a blind man and besought him to touch him we're reading to 25 very quickly the bible says he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town watch this and the bible says he spat on his eyes and put his hands on him and asked him if he was seen are you seeing now look at the man the man looked up and said i see men as trees walking that is an aberration in, in, in perception. The same way it happened to this man, there are many genuine prophets who have not been transformed to purify their prophetic, um, uh, uh, what do you call it now? The dispensing of their prophetic. So even though they are genuine, when you come around them and they speak to you, it ends up confusing you because it is a genuine gift or a genuine grace, but without transformation. The prophetic through a human vessel depends largely on your level of orientation and perception. Let's finish that scripture, please. 25. The Bible says he put his hand again on his eyes and made him look up and he was restored. And he saw every man clearly. Yes, I'm seeing a vision about you, but it's not clear. And most people come up with that unrefined dimensions of visions. That is why you see that the margin of error, they can say something today, it is very accurate. And you meet them tomorrow and what they tell you becomes the biggest confusion in your life. But because of the accuracy of what happened yesterday, you will now follow in that confusion and they themselves are surprised. Because the prophetic does not happen automatically. For the human vessel, it depends on your level of transformation. Some of you right now, you are in pain from the prophetic that blessed you. And it is still cursing you right now. It has both blessed and cursed you. Do you know why? Because as sincere as we the vessels are, our level of scriptural transformation is what connects to provide purity to our speaking and our seeing and our hearing. Don't go around saying I am a prophet or I was laid, hands were laid by a prophet and ignore the word of God. Most prophets only pray they don't stay to understand doctrine prayer will deepen your reach in the realm of the spirit but the word of God will guide your operation while you are there 
So most people find out the moment they have a prophetic inclination, all they are concerned about is prayer. And you can see a man two weeks, dry fasting, praying, and he will come out and tell you, you see everything that I saw? I saw you in a pit. Okay, what is the scriptural explanation of that? It is the Bible that now gives that seeing a perspective that glorifies Jesus. Mm. The prophetic from a human vessel is also limited by your level of level of sincerity at heart. The level of character and sincerity of the vessel Jeremiah 14 14 I believe that scripture is just coming to my spirit now Jeremiah 14 14 the Bible says and the Lord said unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name I have not sent them neither have I commanded them neither speak unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing not and deceit of the heart let me tell you the truth please look up I confess to you as a man of God and on behalf of several men of God I can tell you when God brings you to a position where people know you and accept you to be a credible voice and believe in you sometimes you are pressured by the level of faith and confidence that people place on you that you are tempted to just say anything to redeem your pedigree I told you genuine prophets can lie I can come to you sincerely and say, Apostle, I know that if I just see you, all my problems are ending. Three of my children stole. I want to just know who to really deal with. And I, this is a simple thing with you. God gave you the eyes that see. You see, after, after acknowledging the investment of the Spirit in your life like that, will you now tell the person, sorry, it looks like I'm limited. And the person says, so I traveled from America to come and meet you only to hear this explanation. I would have used my fair ticket to go to a restaurant and eat and even be happy and chances are excellent that you can sit down and start saying things that God did not say and because you have a track record of credibility listen a track record of credibility does not automatically mean you are credible now a track record of credibility is an advantage but make no mistake people change don't say you were accurate and fine yesterday. We need to see what God is doing with you now. There was a man in the Bible called Demas. There's no time to teach you. Demas did not start false. He started genuinely and sincerely. But because of the cares of this world and all of that, he just derailed. A track record of credibility is wonderful. But that does not automatically translate into excellence and acceptance today. It is important for people to see your dealings with God now. Is someone learning? This is very, very important. So the prophetic can be affected. Someone can come with 200 million naira and say, God spoke to me and said, I should come to a ministry in Abuja. I want to verify from you whether you are the one. Or is somebody else say character please shout it say character now remember that man is willing to give 200 million is in front of you and the person wants to know who God said he should give and you are standing there are you saying that the prophetic can be affected by that scripture does not care who it is talking to it just knows that it is there to reveal Jesus you walk against it, you suffer. You walk in partnership with it, God is glorified in your life. But here is a human vessel who has eyes, ears, and emotions. They can look at you and just begin to think. And the flesh, the unrenewed part of you will now arise. And say, think of what this 200 million can do. Remember, God told you that your children are going to Canada. Could this be that this is a miracle? Are we together? The prophetic can also be affected by your capacity to interpret the things that you see and hear. The prophetic, Matthew 17, please. 
can be affected by your capacity to see the strength of your ability to interpret the Bible says six days after six days Jesus take Peter and James and John the brother watch this now and the Bible says he brought them into a high mountain apart reading to four verse two and he was transfigured before them watch this now I hope you know they were witnesses of the transfiguration that transfiguration was a spiritual thing they were seen into the spirit and the Bible says his face did shine as the Sun and his raiment was white as light verse 3 and behold there appeared unto them not unto him that means they saw it too they saw Moses and they saw Elijah talking with him was their scene correct yes they saw accurately but let's see their interpretation verse 4 and Peter said unto Jesus Lord it is good for us that we are here if thou will let us make three tabernacles one for you one for Moses one for Elijah this is a very potent spiritual experience and his perception was correct but interpreting it now imagine if you had to depend on Peter as your man of God do you know how many things he will see correctly but the meaning he will give to you will destroy it this is one of the challenges with the prophetic the things we see and the things we hear are very accurate but because we have not built discernment through the word to die to decipher and interpret the things that we see correctly there are many homes who have been broken today because of correct visions and poor interpretation you can look up for I, I always give this example you can look at a couple and the God will open your eyes and see a spirit maybe see something that looks like a shrine around her or see a horn or even a demon spirit now you saw correctly it is based on the degree and the depth of your understanding the word to interpret that in a way that edifies if you do not know how to interpret the prophetic you will just look and say madam Oga. You married a witch I know what I'm seeing and like I've taught you who will sit down to eat dinner with a witch let's be honest there are many people today whose lives have been destroyed because of the imbalance and the inaccurate communication of the prophetic sincere people have been called demons are we together now because of the prophetic listen very carefully there are many people who were doing businesses that were correct but the prophetic just came and said look at this look at this look at that and there are people who did were not supposed to stop their jobs but maybe you see somebody working in an oil and gas company and God opens your eyes and you just see an estate it may tell you that in the future he will be doing real estate or in addition he should do real estate or God is going to beautify his life the way you are in the similitude of the house that you saw now it's up to you to use scripture and interpret you can just say oh God, you better leave this job now God is not in it and the man will leave a job paying 1 million per month and waiting to do real estate the first real estate he did was with a 419 person and 1 billion just went down and he comes to you and say prophet and you say I know what I saw you didn't lie but your interpretation was false please hear me if you are called into the prophetic here or through the health of your prayer life God has been tilting you towards the prophetic please stay with the Word of God and learn wisdom so that you do not mislead people if I were called as a man of God to interpret Pharaoh's dream Egypt would die of hunger based on what I will say are we together because the first thing I'm going to go to most likely is witchcraft by the time you see seven lean cows eat seven fat ones and don't increase what else is that not witchcraft <laughs> I'll just say Pharaoh I don't know where you are coming from but let me tell you don't take for granted that you are the Pharaoh something is wrong with you your life is about to be cut short but here is a man who had correct perception and correct interpretation he said both the cows the fat cows the lean cows the fat ears the unproductive they all mean time how does that relate to time that's what the Spirit of God can do listen I'm teaching tonight I'm hoping God is correcting someone because there are many visions right now on your table 
full of false interpretations you have added to them. There are many people who should not start ministry. But just because you saw a man holding a mic, holding a mic does not mean he's called into ministry. It can mean many things. Listen carefully. You saw yourself naked in the spirit. It does not always mean witchcraft. Who told you nakedness always means witchcraft? Nakedness can mean intimacy. I saw a chain. You must be a witch. Who told you? The chain of gold can be. Was it not a chain that was put on Joseph when he was honored? Don't just interpret things wrongly because of what you saw. Five people can see chains and it means five different things. Hallelujah. A man can see his wife after four children. You have vowed that you won't give birth again. And then suddenly you will see your wife in a vision while you are praying. Pregnant with twins. It does not mean to have more children. You have to pray for the interpretation. You see that now? Please shout amen. amen. Because I need to say this because many believers in the body of Christ claiming maturity without stability of scripture. You will confuse yourself and then even others. I'm not, you know that when I teach like this, I'm not being sarcastic. God is helping us to gain understanding. I'm going to show you now the rules of engagement and then we'll wrap up with it. But it is important. Do not assume that what you saw is what it is. Allow the intelligence of the scripture and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to be the compass that helps your interpretation. Hallelujah. There are people who do everything they see in the spirit. You saw yourself smacking your wife. That could mean that God is telling you that you are not mentoring her. That she's a child in the spirit. And the Bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction will drive it far from him. He only means introduce mentorship, not just love. But you can go physically and say, Madam, if you are Goliath, I am David. I will kill you in this house. Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Listen, if you were John who was caught up in the Isle of Patmos or Ezekiel, and you suddenly have a vision and you see a lion, you see an eagle, you see a man, and then you see what again? A calf. The first thing you will do is bind that vision and say this thing cannot be in the throne room. This is demons. This, this, this is witchcraft. What is the face of an eagle doing before God? What is the face of a man? I'm seeing four faces. This must be a cause. This is, this is ancestry. And you will be binding it and casting it. Whereas they represent four dimensions that show the holistic spiritual growth of a man. The lion stands for kingship, dominion. The calf stands for servanthood. The man stands for your humanity. And the eagle stands for your divinity. God may be showing you something else and you are casting it through ignorance. You may sincerely go to bed and God shows you a gentleman or shows you a woman. That does not mean marriage. Who told you that just because you, you, you can even see the person in a wedding gown in a vision. It does not mean marriage. It can mean honor. It can mean restoration. It can mean intimacy. Listen, I'm preaching from my heart because if the body of Christ does not understand the power of interpretation, many correct things we see and hear will mislead us. Are we together? By reason of what I do, I get text messages from people. And you know, sometimes people will send me text messages and say, Apostle, my mother is a witch. I want you to agree with me that anybody and any... How do you just assume mama is a witch and you are 30 years old, she did not kill you? Simply because you had a dream and you saw her frowning. What does that mean? Does frowning mean she does not want my progress? What does that, where did you get that from? How many innocent people today are going through pains? There are spouses that never talk because someone saw something. 
There are businessmen that just cut business ties and they say, what happened? You say, I went to bed and I got up and I just saw blood dripping. My brother, what does that mean? Blood dripping does not necessarily mean witchcraft. That may mean that this phase of business will demand sacrifice. So go through it with honor. Stop thinking profit and just press. You can't just assume that because you saw blood dripping, it is witchcraft. Please lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, correct every wrong interpretation. Correct it. Correct it. Someone pray. Those following online pray. If there is any vision, any dream, any prophetic manifestation confusing my life, confusing my destiny, I cry unto the God of heaven. Give me accurate interpretation of the happenings around my life. By this time tomorrow, in the name of Jesus, forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be concentrated. Let your mind be Holy God's fire! For